Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, right now, I'm going to show you guys my new purchase that uh, I finally was able to save up enough money for, and I'm so freaking excited. It's going to allow me to uh, really get out there and uh, do what I've really been wanting to do for quite some time now. So, without further ado, here is my new 2017 brand new Triton 19 TRX. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start off up on the front deck and I'll just kind of run through the boat real fast. I'm not gonna make this super long video, just wanna kind of show you guys what we're rolling with. And uh, yeah, probably might have some haters, you know. Um, I don't make a lot of money, but uh, I really love fishing. I saved up for a long time for this rig and uh, it's what I wanna do. I can afford it, I did it all by myself, so uh, yeah. Now I'm going to show you what I got. So we got ourselves a uh, Minn Kota Fortrex here. 112 pound, we got a 36 volt system. We just have a little hook 5. That'll be getting upgraded eventually. Um, kind of sparse for money right now, so that'll be a little while, um, but sometime. Obviously we got the uh, foot pedal in the recessed tray. We got our lights, tool holder, drink holder, all that great stuff. Very, I <laughs> just stepped off the back. Very spacious, big, open deck. I love it. it uh, it's a lot bigger than what I'm used to. We got our rod buckles there and over there. And uh, some very big, spacious rod lockers. All my rods, I love it. Plenty of room for more, which I would love to have more. Of course, what everybody loves, I know I do, is the tackle tray. Whew. Now that is full. We got quite a bit of tackle in there, but plenty of room for more, of course. All stainless steel latches. Everything has rod gas pistons. Every compartment's lockable. Well, not every compartment, but every compartment that's going to have good valuables in them. Life jackets first aid kit, all of the um, essentials you have to have basically in this compartment. Not used for a whole lot of else. Cool little tray there. Cup holder here. My junk tray. Obviously we've been catching some fish. we got some lures in there. And of course, the great cockpit. So, so we got some cool stuff uh, on the boat. To, this wasn't pre-made. Uh, this was just a boat that they had on the lot got a heck of a good deal on it it's a it's a 2017 obviously it's 2019 right now I got a heck of a deal on this because they was just wanting to get rid of it. it is never sold it's two years old they're coming out with the 2020 boats now and they still have a 2017 on the lot and I got a good good deal on this boat here uh, so for starters I'm rocking with an HDS carbon 12 Way more than I ever imagined that I'd be able to get, uh, but hey, I ain't complaining. Got all of our good gauges, nice seat. We got our uh, blinker trim there, that is awesome. And what goes along with the blinker trim? That's right, a hot foot. Uh, it's gonna be dark under there, so I'm not gonna show you, but it does have a hot foot, and that is really cool. Obviously, I've never had one before, I've never driven a boat with one before, but after having it, whew. You can't go back. You can't have. You can't not have it. Nice glove compartment. We got stuff in there. Rope, dog stuff. Um, two cup holders here. Cool little tray there. Got our got our digital scale. Got to weigh them fish. And yeah, that's the cockpit, guys. On back, we got our two live wells, independent live wells, so I can run them independently of each other. Um, two boxes. I got them locked up. There's nothing in them, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Then obviously we got our battery tray. I have it locked up. Nothing fancy in there, just a charger and uh, four big old batteries. Nice, beautiful tandem axle trailer. Swing tongue. And I love the brakes. Going from, a, going from hauling a boat around is pretty heavy. An older heavy boat that with no brakes to about the same weight of a boat, but bigger with tandem axle brakes. That makes a heck of a lot of difference. And then sporting on the back end, we got a Mercury Pro XS. It is an Optimax. We got our 
oil there. That's a Megiddo 200 Pro. Way bigger motor than I ever believed that I'd be able to afford. Um, I was pretty much just looking at 115s, 150s. Wanted a brand new boat, but uh, went ahead and I purchased this separately, a MotorMate mount. Gets the motor up higher, way, way more secure. We got ourselves a Flowrite drain plug. It's freaking awesome. Drain plugs in, drain plugs out. Pretty serious boater, especially if you're gonna be going in the colder months. <laughs> you don't wanna be messing with no drain plug when the water's freezing. And two, if you forget to put it in, all I gotta do is walk to the back, flip the switch. So anyway, that right there is pretty much the entire walkthrough of my brand new Triton 19 TRX. Um, if you guys want to see a video of how I've kind of got it laid out so far right now, um, I could do a video on that. I'm sure it's going to change. Only had the boat for two weeks now. Fished out of it quite a few times, but uh, I'll definitely have to get some serious hours in to see how I really want it laid out. And there's not much I'm going to add to it. It's pretty much how it's going to be for quite some time. Just a few little accessories here and there. New depth finder up front, I'm sure, at some point. but. Other than that guys, that is my new baby. And uh, we doing a lot of fishing trips on this. And uh, I'm super excited. So I'm gonna let you guys go for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thanks.